Hey guys, and welcome back to Number Nine Farms. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make um, gluten free breadcrumbs. And to, we're going to be particularly making the Italian breadcrumbs. So let's get started. I wanted to show you how Bruce has um, made me this um, complete little dehydrator um, stand. Because before I had it on the table and it was really hard for me to get like to the one that was over here in the corner because I still needed to keep my plant shelf out and um this house is a lot smaller so what what's different is is I went from this huge house to this tiny house and it's really hard to adjust when you do so many different things and uh, my daughter always is joking on me and saying I never thought you could get another thing in this house so here it is, but um, he put it on its own circuit. So now I can um, dehydrate all, using all four dehydrators at one time. And it's such a blessing, I'm telling you. So let's get started on this. So what I have here is um, two of the uh, Udi's um, gluten-free soft white sandwich bread. And if you make your own bread, that's fine, use that whatever you know you like to do you can even do any kind of whole grain of course rosie's gonna bark <laughs> there ain't a time that rosie doesn't rosie wants the bread that's what she wants so i just i'm gonna bring you in close so you can see how i put the um bread on the the sheets rosie stop okay so just start whatever you want and I just lay them out, no rhyme or reason. It smells so good. And um, once I get all this laid out, I am going to dehydrate it at a low temperature, like around, same as like herbs, about 95 to 110. And it usually goes about six hours I don't really particularly, you know, have a time set for it because I just keep checking it. And before at my other house, all of my dehydrators were over at the, um, you get back, Missy. You're not going to get mama's bread. No. I use the bread crumbs for my chicken parmesan. Get back, Missy. <laughs> I don't want no dog whispers. Whiskers in my um food. Anyways, the um my meatloaves, and that's mostly what I use them for. And of course, uh, a couple times I've used them for um like some fish tacos, things like that. But I think with the two loaves, I should get um a right good amount here because this is uh what did I do with the jar? Oh, here it is. But I know you might say, you got the, your dehydrators in the living room? Yeah, that's how. That's just how it is. But here's what it looks like. And you can see um, it's it works out really good. Rosie, don't knock my plants over. Rosie is the investigator. She just has to be all over everything. And if it has anything to do with food, <laughs> Rosie is there. So, um, Bruce and Colby are going to be cooking on the outside on the uh, fire today. Um, so that was it. That was both loaves. So that was quick. Just talking to y'all went by fast. All right. So I don't need what I'm going to do. Is I'm gonna put these in the middle. No, Rosie. That way they can um, be closer to the fan. I thought I would go a little farther. Um, the when we were at the Walmart when we bought this bread, the funny story was it said nine dollars and something. And I was like, no, that because it was in the freezer section. And I was like, no, that can't be right. So I had the girl scan it before I bought it. Because I was like, if it's $9, I'm not buying it. 
how how I'll uh, just take my chances on not having. I'll just buy the gluten free breadcrumb. All right, so 110 to 115 is where you want to be. And this one doesn't have a timer on it. This is the original um, Excalibur. And this one does have a timer on it. But I really don't even care about the timer. So I'll bring you back. Next, we're going to make some of the Italian seasoning so you can mix with your breadcrumbs. And I'll be back once this is done. Guys, so it's been over the six hours. I, uh, it is all ready now. I've cracked it here so you could see it. But what I'm going to do now is let it cool just a few minutes, just it, not even long, 10 minutes or so. And um, then I'll go ahead and put it in the uh, food processor. All right, guys, so welcome back. Um, we have got the bread dehydrated and it's cooled now. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that um, Italian seasoning with you. It's really simple. I've got my recipe right here. Bruce, you wanna show them in the book? So it's this one. Oh. <laughs> They're gonna like the corned beef seasoning too. Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead. Um, first thing we're gonna do is uh, I like to make things in large quantities so that I don't have to do it again, but it's five tablespoons of basil. And um, you, if you have like a powder, that's fine too. I think this is the last one. I wasn't counting. <laughs> but either way. Um, and then five tablespoons of oregano. And this is probably going to use up this whole little jar. And then I'll have to go downstairs to get more. Two, three, four, and five. You see, it's not very, uh, and I have this big thing of rosemary, so I'm gonna use this up, but I have some from, that. I, this is three tablespoons that I did this year. Um, and then we've got the marjoram. So that's one and a half um, tablespoons, so like a half. And then the thyme. And this this one is my thyme, and you can see it because I didn't chop it up as good and get rid of the stems as well. Oh, I see you leave stems in your stuff too, yeah. dear. Oh. One and a half. Okay, so that's it for that. All right, and then you just kind of want to mix it all together. And because what we're going to do is we're going to put this in with the um, breadcrumbs. But now if you decided that you didn't want this, the Italian seasoning breadcrumbs in your uh, recipe, then by all means, leave it out. And if you want to throw something else in here, like say garlic, um, garlic Parmesan breadcrumbs. So then you could do like the garlic powder um, or even like some dried um, garlic, minced garlic with uh, some of the uh, powdered Parmesan or if you had some Parmesan powder that is not some kind of food chemical, then... <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know how else to put it. Oh, yeah. But that, or you could do like a lemon pepper on breadcrumbs, which you could use that lemon powder that I just made on the other video. Um, or you could do... Uh, some some pepper I mean it's just endless the amount of breadcrumbs that you could come up with and the things you could do with your recipes all right so let's go ahead and get started on this so first thing I've, I've got my new plug that Bruce put in the bar for me which is so nice I'm gonna use the uh, sorry about that chopper on blade and then you just go ahead and throw your breadcrumbs in I mean breadcrumbs <laughs> Your bread, I've already got it in the crumbs and we haven't done anything. And here we go, loud noise. Look at that. All right, I'll bring you back once I get them all done. All right, so it's all um, ground up and look, look how nice it looks. So it does really well. So this is where I'm gonna go ahead and put in like three heaping tablespoons. Now this is your choice too. This isn't however you would like, but this is about what I do. And then that, 
go ahead and grind it all up in there. Yep, it's getting there. Yeah, maybe a little bit more. So I'm gonna go with four. I don't exactly remember what how much I did last time, but you go ahead, I'm gonna turn it off now so you don't have to listen to the noise, but I'm gonna go ahead and get this incorporated. Cause as you can see, um, this is how it looks, um, the one I did last time. And like I said, I use this mostly for our meatloaf because um, I do make a lot of meatloaf and the good thing about meatloaf too is it can go right into the freezer and you don't even have to thaw it and pop it right in the oven as long as you use a freezer I mean a oven safe um from the freezer to the oven all right so I want you to see how good it looks so see how nice and you can see all the herbs in it so um now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and um put it in a jar and I'm going to do uh, the vacuum seal on it and save it. Now, the, a lot of times I keep the breadcrumbs in the freezer um, just because, I don't know why, but I do. <laughs> <laughs> I, guess, I guess because I'm thinking that um, they can go bad, you know, or stale, or I don't know, whatever. I guess it's already stale. But uh, anyways, but I'll be back when I show you it's all um, jarred up. Looks like we got about four cups, so I got a um, quart size jar. Funnel. All right, so I'm gonna add this to my jar. See, it probably will be a little more, but uh, I always label all my jars and use my little Walmart um, brother label maker. And there you have it. So guys, thanks for watching. <laughs>